Hello again, everyone. Uh, welcome to my third video in my Trial of Ascension series this month. This video is going to go over the strategy I use to beat the 80th floor with Chi Wu on Trial of Ascension Normal. So I'm going to go ahead and play the video because this level is a little bit long and we will get into the strategy. Okay, so before I tell you what my game plan is, I need to go over some of the enemy's abilities that we need to keep in mind as we're fighting this. So the Mystic Witches, the Megans, only have one skill that we really need to be concerned about, which is their third skill. And this skill increases the attack gauge of all allies by 20% and increases attack power and defense for two turns. This skill has a five turn cooldown. So this skill is kind of dangerous because of that attack buff, the defense buff, and especially the um, increase of the attack gauge, which basically just means the enemies are going to be um, moving more often, which isn't good for us because um, the other enemies kind of have more dangerous abilities. So I'll go into what the Sylphids have. The Acasuses have two skills that we need to be concerned about which is their second skill and their third skill. Their second skill is a damaging ability that hits all enemies with a twister and recovers the HP of all allies by 10% each with a three turn cooldown. So basically she has a heal and it has a very short cooldown. So that just means more heals, the enemies are going to be alive more, and the Megans are going to be doing more damage to my Beretta. As you see, he got chunked by one of them, so that's definitely not something we want them to be using. They Their third skill is a shield, and the shield um, absorbs the inflicted damage proportionate to your level for all allies. So every ally gets a shield, and it also puts up a buff that decreases the chance of being attacked with a critical hit. So the latter part of that doesn't really affect my team because my team is a dot team, so I don't need to rely on crits, but a team with like Verdehyle, for example, needs crits because Verd needs crits to be effective. So if they have that buff up, buff up definitely remove it before you attack with your Verd. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, they're also level 55, which means that shield's going to be a pretty big shield compared to, because it scales off their level. And the Chiwu only has one skill that's really kind of important, which is his third skill. It attacks all enemies and removes the beneficial effects on them, so it's going to remove all beneficial effects on you. And he's also going to recover 5% HP for every beneficial effect removed. So, since I chose not to nuke him first, uh, it wasn't that big of a deal. When I do start to focus him, I'm not going to buff up as much because, as you see right there, he healed a lot. Um, it's, I, it's not super necessary to bring a unrecoverable debuff against him. Just don't buff yourself, basically. He's not going to do very much damage. So, as you guys saw in the video, the strategy I used was to go for the Acasuses first, then the Megans, then the Chiwu, and I went for the Acasuses first because I really did not want them putting that bubble up, and I didn't want them healing, I just wanted to get this level over with because the Megans do so much damage to Beretta, so I make sure they do not get a turn at all. Then I go for the Megans, and I did get a lot of lucky despair stuns and debuffs and stuff like that. So, and I also did make some mistakes. As you guys saw early in the video, I tried to debuff Chiwu or seize him when he just had the shield up and the anti-crit buff up. Um, I didn't need to seize him. I should have just gone for the a cases that I was focusing, but I just got a little bit scared because I was kind of doing this level hastily. So that's one thing I'm trying to improve on is taking things slow and relaxing and being aware of what's actually going on rather than just getting freaked out when I see something that scares me or that I don't like. <laughs> so I'm still working on that and I'm just gonna finish up the level right here. It looks like Chiwu does have his skill up that 
will heal, but um, he's just going to remove the um, speed up buff. And right there you saw he didn't heal very much at all. So it's not really a problem for me. And I'm just going to clean up the level. Basically, I just relied on pretty lucky to spare stuns and having my accuracy be pretty high to remove some of those buffs like on the monsters that I was focusing. So that's about it for this video. Um, if you need to go back and watch it again, go ahead. I just wanted to play it and explain it at the same time to uh, kind of make it shorter so I wasn't sitting around not saying anything. Um, I do have like a couple other things to say at the end after this is over. Uh, the important thing is that at the stage in the game that I'm at, I believe it's really important to finish TOA every month because these rewards are going to help you so much, especially the crystals, because as a free-to-play player, I'm not buying crystals every month or however often people buy stuff. So these are pretty much my only source of progressing in the game because, well, not really only source, but crystals are a big factor in energy refreshes and moving you ahead with... Um, minimizing the time it takes for you to obtain things like leveling fodder and um, farming more runes. So I believe that it's really important for me to finish this and get it down. Um, and then I'm going to keep working on TOA hard, see how far I can get every month. It's obviously not going to be as far as this because it is harder. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, okay, one thing, well, not one thing, but um, every video after this is going to be recorded on the MacBook, which has amazing quality, no more FPS lag in TOA, which is going to be good for me because that FPS really annoys me and it kind of throws me off when it when the FPS goes down. Um, and I think that's about it. So I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. See you later.